hello and welcome in this video i'm going to teach us how to prepare a mark sheet for students using microsoft excel my name is emmanuel i'm a data analyst and a microsoft excel expert please if you are new to this channel kindly please go below this video and hit the subscribe button that you are seeing right there just hit the subscribe button so that you can get notified when i release new video so that youtube will notify you because i have a lot of video content to share related with microsoft excel so just click the subscribe button and it will also go a long way to encourage me to release more video content like this just go below this video and hit the subscribe button so in this video i'll be teaching us how to prepare a, a, a mark sheet or which we call broadsheet of students using microsoft excel just like the one you can see right here so let us get started now the first thing you need to do is to type the name of your school so the name of our school is xyz secondary school so just an example so you just type it so but because of this video i'm just going to copy it so you just type the name of your school probably xyz blah 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 so you just type it are we together so you just type the name of your school here then the next thing we are going to have is the broadsheet report so you're going to type broadsheet report maybe for 2022 to 2023 2023 or 2024 2024 to 2025 whichever way so you're just going to type it so you're going to type broadsheet report so i'll type it now so broadsheet report so i just so i'm going to type let me just type it sorry about that so i'm just going to say broad broad sheet report for 2022 slash 2023 you understand so you can say 2022 slash 2023 academic session yeah 2022 slash 2023 academic session so i've typed it now now the next thing you are going to do is to start to create all these things so before then let me do some basic formatting so you can just both this and increase the size so you can increase it to like um 20 20 is okay you can also bold this bold this and um probably italize or you can just bold it so you can bold this as well so that is that about that so the next thing you are going to have is all these details here serial number admission number names of the students so we are just going to come here and say serial number you know names of students names of students names of students students names of students so so you know this thing spills so you are going to just double tap up here you know to increase the cell size all these things they are the cell cell is an intersection of the rows and the column so to increase it so that it will fit can you see now it's now looking fit so also you are going to reduce this serial number since the details they are going to be small so we reduce it so we can still increase it again so you left click and drag so names of the student the next thing we are going to have is sorry before names of the student we are supposed to have admission number so let me just control x and um, control v so let me write admission number here Ad admission number let me reduce the admission number so let me reduce the let me reduce it yeah so i've reduced the addition number so the addition number again i can still further reduce it even though the addition number will not show so i will just tap on this cell and um, wrap the text can you see so that's 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 what i did here you can see it's admission number where the number goes down so you just wrap the text so you can bold this and um, centralize it i will still let me just highlight everything here and um, bold it so that anyone that i type here they will have the bold formatting so let me increase these names of the students so that it can fit the cell so the next thing we are going to have is the subject let me just copy the subjects that are here let me copy the details that are here rather control c and um, you can type this when you are practicing and um, control v yeah let me just now okay yes now you notice that 
everything is everything looks clustered this english english study is not showing fully well so we'll wrap the text can you see this one too we we'll wrap the text this one too we'll wrap, we'll wrap the text but for this mathematics i don't like the way it is so let me still increase it you know and let me reduce the row height see it's too big left click and drag are we together so this one too we wrap the text and um, we can increase this one basic signs wrap the text so we can reduce this increase the row height a bit yeah so religious studies you wrap the text in fact let me just click everything here and um, wrap the text yeah so instead of doing it one after the other so let me increase this so i think it's looking as nice. business studies increase this vocational vocational studies let me increase this Yoruba, Igbo and Hausa. let me increase this let me still increase it let me still increase it I want the then creativity studies let me still increase it I want the creative to the E to show there so let me go to yeah I think everything is looking nice now so I'll go back so I'll just click everything and um, centralize it look at the place center so you click these three that is here that is the row then you you centralize it you come to this your alignment this alignment then you come to this place you see it then you centralize so that everything will look more nice let me reduce this um, let me yes okay let me increase this um, average this total score yeah everything is looking nice now so the next thing is to write one two i've told you and we are targeting how many students we are targeting 17 students i just want to be for 17 students for the purpose of this video so i will left click here and drag 10 can you see showing 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 17 so i will now left click i left click and drag so i will leave it it will fill for me so i will now centralize it centralize the numbers so the admission number i can say two three four zero zero one so two three four zero zero two i just assume any admission number for most schools they have the admission number already so i will just highlight this to left click and drag it so that to generate random admission number from can you see two three four zero zero three two three four zero zero four two three four zero zero five like that like that that's what we call the auto fee if you have been watching my video you notice that i i, I love using the auto fee function then the names of the students i don't want to type let me just copy here Control c and um Control alt v so let me just copy the names of the students i'm just copying their names so these are the names of the students that we have let me make here 17 and um, let me make here 234017 so the english studies what is the score that they get i'll just copy the scores that are here i'll, together, I'll copy the scores that are here the scores of the students over 100 control c and just copy the scores and um, control v and i'm just copying the scores you can type all these things manually you know this is just a, a video so it's just all these things they are just random all right so now the next thing we are going to do is to have the total score and the average so before then we are going to come here also write total so we are going to I, we are going to say total total here and then we are going to board it are we together so the total score we are going to use a function called the sum function so you type equals to sum open a bracket click on this place left click and drag it sorry I made a mistake I made a mistake dragging open the bracket left click and drag and drag to cultural art then you press enter again equals to sum open a bracket tap on this place left click and drag it straight make sure that it is straight make sure it's not going up then enter I see it now so and again you can also use my the logic I love using I like everything even I like the place you want to put your data set the place you want to put your answer click on auto sum and press sum it's gonna it's gonna give you so instead of us to again let me show us that 
highlight everything including your the place the answer wants to be the empty cell and just tap on auto sum it's going to give you the sum are we together so instead of us to be doing everything one, one after the other we just go to the edge of this box click here and go to the edge of this box and tap enter are we seeing it now so and double tap rather so and double tap it either way now the average now is equals to there's a formula we use you know in this one we use some function this one now we are going to use average equals to a v r a g e average open a bracket click here left click and sorry let me come again e a v e r a g e average there's a formula we use a v e r a g e average open a bracket click here left click and drag and drag and drag to creative i don't don't drag it to the total score your average may, will be wrong all right so you, you stop at the subject that you have there then you when you have done everything sorry again yeah left click and and drag and drag here then you press enter it's going to give you the average so you are just going to come here and double tap it's going to fill the rest for you don't mind this and so there's not there's no value here so that's why it's giving us div zero so that is that about that now the next thing i will need to do is that now in some in some in some schools you know they may like to have the this sign at the back of it this sign called percentage you see this percentage sign just look where where, I, where my cursor is now some school may like to have this percentage sign at the back of each of these average so how do you go about it let me show you let me show you that so now what you do is that you're going to adjust the formula so when you say equals to average then you're going to put divided by the divided by is your slash this is your slant sign slash 100 you're going to say divided by 100 this 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 slash in this slash this slash in computer this slash in computer represents divide in excel so you're going to say slash 100 then you press enter now it's going to give you 0 0.583 but don't worry so you just left click and fill the rest so you fill the rest up to you suicide the name then you leave it it's going to give you zero points but don't worry now i say i, I want us to have this percentage sign shift please i want us to have this percentage sign so this is what you are going to do now when you have done this when you have done this you are going to highlight everything again you're going to highlight everything again and you're going to click on this percentage sign are you seeing this percentage sign now you're going to click on it so you click on it can you see that percentage sign have appeared but i also want it to i don't want because I, I want it to be showing the decimal i don't want it to just be a perfect figure like 58 percent maybe let's say 58 point something so I'm, I'm i'm going to come here you know the first thing i first click this percentage sign to show to display the percentage at the back of the number then the next thing i'm going to click here this place can you see this place in excel represents increased decimal so i will increase the decimal so that's so if i want to still increase it more i can still increase it can you see you can still increase it but now let me reduce it also this place means decrease decimal so i will decrease it decrease it and think and i think i like it like this so so you navigate around this place to increase decimal so that is that about that once again please if you are new to this channel kindly please go below this video and click on the subscribe button to go a long way to encourage me thank you so that is that about that the the next thing we are going to do is to um is to sum all these things so equals to sum open a bracket double tap here left click and drag and press enter so the next thing we are going to do is go here click on this cell and um, left click and drag to fill the rest all right so it can you see this one is still showing what we don't want so we are going to so what, what we can do is we are going to say slash 100 divide the answer by 100 so it's going to give us this one zero points whatever whenever you want to put this percentage at the back it's going to just say divided by 100 the answer that you get check your formula and say divided by 100 can you see check your formula and say divided by 100 and click on this percentage sign it's going to change now i also i don't want it to show a perfect 11 so i will i will click on this place that says increase the decimal 
So I will increase the decimal by two. So this is the answer that we have here. So there is the mm -hmm. average, overall average of everything that we are seeing here. So we are just going to click this place, bold everything, bold it. And um, so that is that about that. So the next thing we are going to do is to format this. So we, so we are going to format this now. Before then, I will need to, let me adjust this XYZ International School. I will highlight this here up to average. Click on margin center. Here too, I will also highlight this place, all the cell up to average and click on match and center let me also increase this place and um, let me reduce this so that we can we can see everything so it's looking nice now let me still increase this xyz yeah everything is looking nice now so the next thing i'm going to do is to you know highlight the data set and give it a border so i highlight everything I've highlighted everything. I'll come to this place and I'll look for all borders. Can you see we have bottom border, top border, left border, right border, no border, all borders. I'll click on all border and everything is set. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is to you know highlight this the names of the student and bold it and also italize it if I want to make it look more more nice. Here too, I also highlight here. I'm just doing basic formatting. All these ones I'm doing in Excel is called formatting. So I like this place and this total and this average too so that they can stand out so that at a glance you can see okay this student this is his total score this student this is the average score let me make it average scores here. average scores all right so yeah let me make it average scores can we see it now average scores so okay this student i was said yeah his average score is five to five uh, his average score is 58.33 and his total score is five to five do you understand so that's just that about that. The next thing we are going to do is to, you know, give here this total is to give it a double bottom underline so as to make it different. So we are going to say, we are going to highlight it and say top and double bottom underline. That is, I want it, I want it. Uh, can you see this double underline that is there to show that it is total, you know? So that is that about that. The next thing we are going to do is to highlight this place and uh, probably give it a color. So I'll just give it a color. Probably I'll give it. I don't want to use the color I used before. So probably I should give it a yellow. Yes, let me give it a yellow color. I like this place too. And also give it a yellow color. Alright, guys. So that is that about this video. Please, if you are new to this channel, kindly please, please go and subscribe to this video so that you would add value to yourself because Microsoft Excel is a very very important skill that you need for finance academics this 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 aspect of microsoft exam i'm showing us right now is for academics you know very soon i'll release a video on how to prepare a cgpa template using microsoft excel cgpa that is for students that are in the university polytechnic college of education so but when you don't subscribe it's possible you don't you are not aware that i've released that video in a future video i may release a video on how to compute CGP that is cumulative grade point average CGP on Microsoft Excel so that is why you just need to subscribe when you subscribe by the time you search by the time you just open your YouTube you are going to see my video you know so that is when you subscribe but when you don't subscribe it's possible you miss out from that kind of opportunity and also if you want to join my Facebook community just navigate your way around my uh, YouTube channel you are going to see a link to my Facebook community click on it request to join the admin i'm the admin there and we also have the moderator the person is going to you know ask you a few questions and you will join the group so that you can get updated on microsoft excel so once again if you are new to this channel kindly please subscribe so so guys here you have it this is how to prepare a mark sheet using microsoft excel thank you and god bless you see you in my next video